All right, guys, this is EcoFlow's Wave 2. And the big upgrade with this is not only does it do air conditioning and cool air, but it also does heat. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Casey, and today I'm gonna to take you on a little walkthrough and show you the uh, new EcoFlow Wave 2 portable heat and, that doesn't make any sense, portable heater and air conditioner. Let's uh, bring it inside the garage and I'll uh, walk you through some of the features, what this can do, some of the limitations, and uh, why you may want to consider picking one of these up for yourself. Here we have EcoFlow's newest product. They've been dropping new products like crazy this year, and this is the Wave 2. So not only is it an air conditioner, uh, which is 5100 BTUs of cooling, but it is also a heater with 6100 BTUs of heat, and uh, that's getting right up there as far as uh, being able to heat your tent or your camper or maybe your uh, truck or something you're stopped overnight. So they've made uh, quite a few improvements to this. Um, I've got next to it the EcoFlow Wave 1, which they came out with about a year ago. And I wanted to put them side by side so that you guys could see just the size comparison and the improvements that EcoFlow has made to their uh, portable air conditioner and now heater. It's uh, quite a bit smaller, it's lighter. They've gone from 17 and a half kilograms to 14 and a half kilograms, which is about 35 pounds down to 30 pounds or so. Uh, so they've, they've lightened it quite a bit. And on both of these, we have the detachable battery. And so now the battery has about 10% more capacity. This is about a thousand watt hours. This is a little over 1100 watt hours. So I've been using the Wave 2 for a few weeks. Uh, right now it is super hot. It's like 30 degrees Celsius out and I've been kind of playing around with it in my rooftop tent. I'll tell you guys uh, just how well it performed in there. If you're unfamiliar with the uh, EcoFlow Wave product line, uh, the Wave 1 came out last year. It was super popular. These are real air conditioners. I used the Wave 1 to cool my office last year when we had a 45 degrees Celsius heat wave and our house was just an oven. It kept my, I don't know, 300 square foot office cold through that. And now they've increased the amount of cooling power in the Wave 2, which is awesome. You're probably not here to talk about the Wave 1, but I thought it would be good to start out with a little comparison and just how they've redesigned it. And it's definitely a much more sleek looking design. It's lower profile. It's a little bit narrower. The operating range of this is between five degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. It uses a heat pump heat exchange system to uh, basically switch internal valves, uh, whether it's putting the hot air or the cold air out of this uh, front vent, vent system. So because it's a heat exchanger heat pump, um, they do have some low temperature limits, which I would like to try, but they say to use this between five degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. But when I'm camping in the winter, I think it's gonna get colder than five degrees Celsius. So we're gonna have to try this out, but the heat that comes out of this is really, really hot. This is, uh, well, I'll show, you, I'll show you in the app. The app actually tells you the temperature of the air that's coming out of this. Let me give you a little tour of the Wave 2 before I get into using it. Now I've got this shroud on the top here. Let me just pop that off. Um, and then there's a shroud on the back that we can pop off. And the reason why they have the shrouds, and they actually have another shroud sitting on top of the glacier, glacier. This is EcoFlow's Glacier, if you haven't seen this. Go check out the video in the corner. Um, but there's another shroud. And what the shrouds allow you to do is use this either inside of your tent or RV or outside of your tent and RV. Now, if you do have this outside, you want to have it covered so it's not getting uh, rained on. You can either attach the shroud to the front right here and the cold or hot air will come through uh, one of these tubes that they supply you with and you can have this outside of wherever you're sleeping or staying and pump cold or hot air into it. The other way you can use this is like how you just saw me using it uh, in my tent is I put the whole unit in my tent and then I attach the two shrouds one to the top and one to the back and one is an exhaust shroud and the other is the intake shroud. And so it's gonna be cycling external air through it 
and then also drawing air in from your space in the front uh, with through the shroud here and then outputting either cold or hot air depending on what you're trying to do from the top here now the other th thing is when it is in the area that you're heating or cooling the wave 2 can turn on and off automatically because it knows the ambient temperature in the area that it's in if you have it outside then you kind of just have to set it to a temperature and maybe turn on its timer let it heat up your tent um, maybe in the morning if you want to heat up your tent you can uh, log in with the remote app I'll show you in a second and you can turn this back on so I think having it in my rooftop tent is going to be more useful because I'll be able to uh, have it uh, keep things warm and I get more battery life out of this because it won't have to be constantly running once it gets to the temperature that I want it at. The intake and exhaust for the outside and then we have the intake and output uh, for the inside. And then on top we have our control screen which we can flip on here. Now this is battery powered in case you didn't understand that. This is not plugged into anything. This here is just uh, a plug to solar panels which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but immediately we've got a little light on the front that tells us whether we're outputting cold or hot air and we've got oh, I'm gonna stand right here because it's super cool super hot in my garage um, and we've got a readout display on the top that uh, tells us right now it's 28 degrees Celsius where I am uh, you can set this down down to 16 degrees or you can jack it way up to 30 degrees but uh, we're gonna put it at a uh, you know moderate 23 degrees Celsius and so the battery right now is gonna give us, well, it says 1.4 hours, we're not fully charged. I've found that if this has to run full tilt, whether it's on heat or air conditioning, you're gonna get two and a half or so hours, maybe upwards of three, maybe closer to two, depending on the, uh, you know, just how hard it's working. And, but that's complete runtime. And so that's on full, like max mode. I'll show you the different modes in the app in a second. And then we can cycle through the different options here. So it has an eco mode as well. It has a fan mode and then it has an air conditioning mode. And you can see we've got heat coming on the front. It glows orange. And then uh, if we just sit, sit to fan, it glows and pulses white. We'll just leave it on fan while we talk so it's not super loud. And then back to air conditioning, it'll flip back on. So let's leave this on there. Um, but yeah, like I said, having this in the space that you're in lets you uh, control the temperature with the thermostat built into this. So the other thing is if you find this a little bit heavy, right, you don't have to bring it into your tent with the battery. You can just disconnect this right here like that, pull the big battery plug. We'll talk about this in a second because this allows us to attach to more than just this battery, but we can do that. See if I can do this. See if I can do this one-handed while holding my camera. But we can push. We push this little switch right here down on the bottom, and at the same time, oh, there we go. I had to lift my arm up. We slide it back a little bit. Really easy. It slides really easy. And then you can pick this up and take it off of the battery pack below it. And we can pick this up one-handed, fairly easy. And then we can detach the unit from the battery. So this is an add-on battery. You can add this on and then it's got a nice little handle. You can carry this around with you. The battery though is IP65 rated. So you can actually uh, get this kind of wet. This makes carrying this around a lot easier because now you can just grab this and uh, pick it up and put it in your tent. You can load your battery in separately and then you can connect the two and uh, you can have heat or air conditioning in your tent. Like I mentioned, the battery is an add-on and this is 1148, I believe it is, 1159. So this is 11, 1159 watt hours. This is an extra add-on, but you can buy the Wave 2 on its own. And if you're already part of the EcoFlow ecosystem, Kind of a say that 10 times fast and you have one of their other delta series batteries potentially or any of the batteries the newer two series batteries that have 
me spin this around. The newer EcoFlow batteries that have the expansion ports on the side, you see I've got this big cable plugged in here. If you have one of these batteries with the expansion on it, you don't have to buy the Wave 2 battery. Look at this. Boom. We can plug that into the bottom there. And now, look at that. We can turn our Wave on and we can actually run this off of one of your other EcoFlow battery systems that you have. And we can actually get a lot of life out of this because instead of this being, is it 1160 watt hours? This one is over 2000 watt hours and it has a second expansion port on it. So in theory, we could extend this to another battery. We do a lot of gear installs and reviews on the channel. Uh, I'm really, really trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year, guys. And if you find yourself coming back and watching more than two or three videos, do me a huge favor. Just hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. I really, really appreciate it as we push towards 100,000 subscribers this year. And uh, you'll see a Delta II Max walkthrough and feature video coming up here very soon as well. But anyways, so you don't have to purchase the battery with the Wave 2. It can now run off uh, with these, it can now run off any of the other EcoFlow uh, batteries that have the expansion port on them for additional batteries using its uh, XT150 connector. The Delta II Max is 2,000, just over 2,000 watt hours. So you're gonna get uh, five, maybe six hours of full heat, full air conditioning. Like, remember guys, I'm talking about full blast is how long this runs for. Uh, when I was testing the heat, we're talking about keeping it cranked, same with the air conditioner. I was testing this the other day. My tent inside was 39 degrees Celsius when I started. And uh, this was able to maintain about 23, 24 degrees Celsius while the sun was beating down on the side of my rooftop tent. Um, and so it can maintain that for two and a half, two to three hours, let's say. Now you're gonna be five, maybe six hours on this, but we can go to max mode. We can go to nighttime mode, which keeps it quieter. This is quite quiet at night. Or we can set it to eco mode, which is uh, gonna have a little bit of a higher temperature uh, that it's gonna stay at for you um, and preserve some of that battery life. So you're gonna be able to run this for a lot longer, especially if you have it plugged in to another uh, EcoFlow battery device. But anyways, for this video, we've got the expansion battery. Now, the other ways you can run this uh, or run it charge it which is cool is well we've got some solar panels down here well 100 watts if you had full sun on that you know maybe you're going to get 80 percent of that something like that you're looking at uh, 10 to 12 hours maybe to charge this up with full sun i'll put links down in the description to everything um, you can get much larger solar panels from ecoflow if you want to charge this up faster and it just has a little connector here on the side and then you can also charge this let me turn the fan down on this it's, it's not that it's super loud, it's that the microphone makes it super loud because the microphone is pointing towards the camera. So when it's pointing at the air conditioner, it's quite a bit louder than if I'm talking to you. So hang on, let me turn this down for a sec. There are a couple ports here on the side. We've got AC power, so we can plug this into 110 and charge it up. And then we have a uh, uh, XT60 connector here on the side that can be used to either plug in your solar panels which will deliver between 60 and 30 volts. Um, or you can plug this in to charge it off of your 12 volt accessory connector in your vehicle. And uh, you can charge this up off of that. Now you can run this off of 110. You don't need to, I'll show you it. Like uh, you don't need the battery. Uh, we can grab this, plug that into the wall, disconnect that and now we're running off of 110 wall power. So if you already have lots of 110, you, or you wanna just have this for your home when you're not out camping, or in your motorhome or, or truck or whatever, you can use this as a great little portable AC unit for your house. And this is an actual AC unit. This is not just some like cooler. This is putting out, I'll show you in the app, like this is putting out about 10 degrees Celsius, nine degrees Celsius air and as well at 35, 40 degrees heat when you have the heat on. So what I use mine for is, 
in the, in the summer, I don't have air conditioning in my office. I put this down in there, put the uh, vent outside and it keeps my office nice and cool. When I go camping and I bring this with me, I can use the either air conditioning if I'm going somewhere where it's gonna be super hot or in the winter, I can bring it and heat my tent, which is pretty cool. Standing right here is really nice because it's still 25 degrees, super hot in here um, with this on, although we're not venting out anywhere. So the other nice thing about EcoFlow products is they have a really nice app on your phone, which is great for monitoring any of your battery systems, your fridge, your air conditioner, but as well controlling it, changing the settings, seeing uh, how long your runtime is. If you have their portable batteries, you can turn on the 12 volt, the inverters, all that kind of stuff. Right now we've got it in manual mode. We can go to max, eco, sleep mode. So if we dial this back down, like let's say tw 20 degrees at the top here, the air, ambient air outlet temperature is 8.4 degrees Celsius. And then in here we can control the heat function. We can switch it over to heat. See up here in the top left, so the heat and the cooling comes out of the same vent. So once you set this up, you don't have to mess around with anything. You don't have to uh, change shrouds to have heat. Looks like, yeah, there we go. 40 degrees Celsius coming out of the top here. Um, now it'd be interesting to see just what that's like uh, when the ambient temperature is below five degrees. That's where I want to really do some testing to see how well this can maintain temperatures uh, in really cold weather. So we'll be testing that in the winter. This app is connected with both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, as well as the uh, Wave is connected to the Wi-Fi and then the Bluetooth, uh, the Wi-Fi in my house and the Bluetooth on the phone. Real quick before I melt in this super hot garage that I'm in, filming this video, let me uh, make sure I've covered off anything you might wanna know. Uh, so let me just go through a couple uh, frequently asked questions. So as we said before, we can charge this off of AC, car charging, solar panels, add on battery or any powered up power station um, that we can plug into the 110. Um, if you're running it off 12 volt, the air conditioner heater won't work. It'll just run in a fan mode. Same with if you're just running it off solar panels. But if you have the battery on it or you're connected to another uh, EcoFlow, then you can use the heating and um, air conditioning. And so as far as charging time goes, it can charge as a quick as in, in as quick as two hours on AC, six hours if connected to a 24 volt charger, and as quick as three hours on some of the larger solar panels. Uh, not the little 100, 100 watt ones I have, but if you have EcoFlow's big solar panels, you can charge it up pretty quickly. EcoFlow is really trying to make all of their systems more compatible with each other. Uh, they wanna have compatibility between these. So if you already have a bunch of EcoFlow portable power systems, uh, so, you know, there's solar generators, all that stuff. You, you may not want to get the, uh, the expansion battery and connect it to one of your other systems. Or maybe you want to plumb all this into your trailer or your RV or something like that. And you can have it permanently connected to sort of your powerhouse. Maybe you've got a Delta II Max with expansion battery. So you've got 4,000 watt hours of power. It's charging off a of solar. Then you just run a big XT150 cable to your AC unit and, uh, you can monitor everything off of one, but you can plug these into the 110 outlets on uh, any of the power systems, as long as they have enough uh, wattage. This is gonna draw about, I think about 900 to 1000 watts. So you need to have a decent sized inverter in there. So if you wanna find out uh, more about the pricing information of the different configurations and packages you can get, I'll put a link down in the description uh, below, as well as the pinned comment. You can go see the, the current pricing um, the link I have does have a uh, discount code with it, so you can check that out. Um, but EcoFlow does have some early bird pricing, so it's really hard for me to tell you exactly the cost of this. It depends on when you're watching this video, but just go click on the link and it'll take you right to the product page and EcoFlow will tell you everything you need to know about uh, the different packages, the different accessories, solar panels, extra batteries, all that kind of stuff, and how much that's gonna, gonna run you. So, all right, there you go. EcoFlow Wave 2. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.